Hey y'all, welcome back to the Lips Reacts channel. I'm Lips, and today we are starting the season seven journey of Game of Thrones. Obviously, we're starting with episode one, and this episode is titled Dragonstone. That's very exciting. I love anything dragon related in this show. But if you've been following along with this journey, I've been having a great time watching Game of Thrones, and I am always eternally grateful for you guys for joining me in this journey. So we can chat about it, experience it, and all the good things that come along with reacting to Game of Thrones. And I guess the bad things. This show can be really tragic at times, can't it? Um, but deep down inside, I guess I'm always still a little bit of a sweet summer child. So without further ado, let's get into the episode. If you want full-length reactions, all of that is over on Patreon. Otherwise, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the episode. Ooh, hey buddy. I've gathered every fray who means the damn thing. I thought Arya killed this man. Stand together. Stand together. Is he killing everyone? You're my family. The men who helped me slaughter the Starks at the Red Wedding. Uh, yes, you know what? Just remind us, remind us how awful you are. Slaughtered your guests after inviting them into your home. And you call that brave? You didn't slaughter every one of the Starks. No, no. <gasps> he did kill them. Leave one wolf alive and the sheep are never safe. This room is haunted for fucking sure. <gasps> Aria. Tell them the North remembers. Tell them winter came for House Frey. Damn straight. Wow. That? I was so confused. But gosh, that was good. But she's terrifying. Oh, she's terrifying. She's so good. She's so bloody good. I was so confused, guys. I was like, how bad is I started to think I dreamed Arya killing Frey. And I was like, I damn near almost paused the video. I was like, am I in the right place? <laughs> uh, I was like, maybe Arya dreamed that she killed him. No, no, no. She did it. She did it. Oh, yeah, baby. Um, What is that? <gasps> Dust. Who's a coming? Giving White Walker? Yeah. Hello. And hello, and hello, and hello, and um, uh, hello to everyone. Oh, I think winter is here. <gasps> no! Oh, no! We got the big boy. Sucks. Two of them? Three of them? Oh. Holy shit. <gasps> oh, we're back at the wall. This is Brandon Stark, son of Ned Stark. Brother of Jon Snow. You were at Hard Home. You've seen the Night King? He's coming for us. Yeah, he is. And he has a couple big boys. I want every Northern Maester to scour their records for any mention of dragon glass. We need to find it, we need to mine it, we need to make weapons from it. We can't defend the North if only half the population is fight. Oh. 
You expect me to put a spear in my granddaughter's hand? Yep. I don't plan on knitting by the fire while men fight for me. <laughs> no, she doesn't. We'll begin training every man, woman, boy, and girl on Bear Island. Tim, yeah, you will. Last time we saw the Night King was at Hardhome. The closest castle to Hardhome is Eastwatch by the sea. And that's where I'll go. Looks like we're the Night's Watch now. <laughs> oh. I'm here for it. Well, the Ambers and the Karstarks betrayed the North. Their castles should be torn down with not a stone left standing. The castle's committed no crimes. Oh. We need every fortress we have for the war to come. Yes, we do. The Umbers and the Karstarks have fought beside the Starks for centuries. They've kept faith for generation after generation. And then they broke faith. Ooh, they disagree. Crimes of a few reckless sons. So there's no punishment for treason and no reward for loyalty. Ooh. The punishment for treason is death. Small John Umber died on the field of battle. Harold Karstark died on the field of battle. They died fighting for Ramsay. We need to have a strong front. We can't be at war against each other. Ooh, I don't like little finger. My father always said, the man who passes the sentence should swing the sword, and I have tried to live by those words. Yes, he did. And I will not take a family home away from a family it has belonged to for centuries. That is my decision. And my decision is fine. Oof. I ask you to pledge your loyalty once again to House Stark. Yesterday's wars don't matter anymore. The North needs to band together. All the living North. You stand beside me, Ned and Alice. Now and always. Oh, wow, now the music is... Now and always. Ah! now and always oh holy shit uh, Sansa hates that choice was it from Littlefinger hmm hmm I side with John on that one I'm not <laughs> am I... Sansa's on reddit am I the asshole for wanting to take away the castles of treason we never let anyone question his authority you think he was a good king <laughs> Ooh. Do you think I'm Joffrey? No. You're good at this, you know. Yeah, he is. Ruling. No. You are. You are. He is. They respect you, they really do, but you have to... Why are you laughing? What did Father used to say? Everything before the word bot is horseshit. <laughs> He never wanted us to see how dirty the world really is, but mm. father couldn't protect me, neither can you. Stop trying. Maybe he should have let them know how dirty the world is. A little too protective. You Sansa. have to be smarter than father. Ooh, wow. Smarter than Rob. I loved them, I missed them, but they made stupid mistakes and they both lost their heads for it. L literally, yeah. By listening to you. Ned's loyalty is exactly why he died. To be fair. He of House Lannister, first of her name, Queen of the Andals and the First Men, Protector of the Seven Kingdoms. What does she want? Come to King's Landing, bend the knee, or suffer the fate of all traitors. Wow. Winter is here. The Lannisters are a southern army. They've never ranged this far north. You're the military man, but I know her. That's true. She'll never stop until she's destroyed you. Yes. Everyone who's ever crossed her, she's found a way to murder. Except for Sansa. You almost sounds as if you admire her. Oh? He ain't wrong, actually. You learned a great deal from her. She is a really powerful woman. Really powerful, wicked woman. And I mean that with respect, but fear, and also a little bit of... Just... Just... Despise. Just... I don't want to say hate, but despising? Just, well, you know. The old Tuesday can't come to the phone right now. It's what we've been waiting for our whole lives. It's what father trained us for, whether he knew it or not. Whoa. 
Maybe memorize every damn city, town, lake, forest, and mountain. It's ours now. We just have to take it. Oh. You've been quiet since you came home. Are you angry with me? No. Not angry. You afraid of me? Oh, yes. Daenerys Targaryen has chosen Tyrion to be her hand. <laughs> Leaning across the narrow sea, hoping to take back her father's throne. Our little brother. The one you love so much. So they can't afford to send uh, anyone to John. Beside our enemies and give some counsel. Yeah, well, as he should. He's out there somewhere at the head of an armada. Where will they land? She blames all of that on Jamie. Dragonstone. We have deep water ports for the ships. <gasps> oh. Stannis left the castle unoccupied, and that's where she was born. Enemies to the east. Enemies to the south, and Arya Sand and her brood of bitches. It's a lot of enemies for Cersei. Enemies everywhere. We're surrounded by traitors. You're in command of the Lannister army now. How do we proceed? Winter is here. We can't win a war if we can't feed our men and our horses. The Tyrells have the grain. The Tyrells have the livestock. Maybe if you have enemies on every corner of the map, you're the problem. No one wants to fight on the losing side. Right now, we look like the losing side. Yeah. Oh, no. They're going to have a comeback. I understand whoever wins could launch a dynasty that lasts a thousand years. A dynasty for whom? Oh. Our children are dead. We're the last of us. A dynasty for us, then. And then what? We never talked about Tom. Oh. There's nothing to say. Our baby boy killed himself. He betrayed me. What? He betrayed us both. Okay. Should we spend our days mourning the dead? Mother, father, and all our children. Mercy. I loved them, I did. But their ashes now, we're still flesh and blood. Whoa. Guess that. Joy turned to ash in her mouth, and she is changed. Happened to Walter Frey and his family. I heard. How could we ever trust a man like that? We couldn't. He was a useless old coward, but the <laughs> Frey supported us. Now they're all dead. Whoever killed them is no friend of ours. We now in the North remembers. Better allies. We can't win this war alone. You don't have any allies. Literally, everyone's an enemy. For 40 years and learn nothing. Scary. Scary. What did you learn? The great joys. You invited the great joys to King's Landing. Oh, fuck. I invited Euron Greyjoy, the new king of the Iron Islands. <laughs> ...and murdered their former friends as soon as it suited them. And so does everyone. When it suits them. Oh. Unlike the phrase, they have ships. Ooh. I know the Ironborn. They're bitter, angry little people. All they know how to do is steal the things they can't build or grow themselves. Euron Greyjoy didn't come here for that. No. What did he come here for that? A queen. Ah, <gasps> that's right. Oh, fuck. He's gonna marry Cersei. Bender thought he was gonna try to marry Danny. The moment I was chosen Lord of the Iron Island, they turned on me. Their own uncle. They stole my best ships and ran. <laughs> Sailed them right Everything about him is. Ugh. Murdering them would make me feel a lot better. And since it appears that. All our treasonous family members are fighting for the same side. I thought we rightful monarchs. Rightful, okay. Scary. You're not a rightful monarch, though, are you? Oh! Call him out, Jamie. The Great Joys rebelled against the throne for the right to be monarchs, but as I recall, you were soundly defeated. Come to mention it. Weren't you the one who started that rebellion? Uh oh. Of course, we all made it to the Iron Islands anyway. I was there. I remember very well. But I must say, when you rushed through the breach and started cutting people down, it was glorious. Like a dance. The people I was cutting down were your own kin. The place was getting crowded. I enjoyed watching it. I truly did. I enjoyed killing Greyjoys. 
<laughs> if you hadn't crushed us, I wouldn't have gone into exile. If I hadn't done that, I wouldn't be the greatest captain of the 14 seas. If not the most humble. <laughs> You're not humble. Oh. You're the queen of a great nation. You don't care about the Iron Islands. They're nothing but rocks and bird shit. The Iron Fleet, on the other hand, had something else entirely. Well, the Iron Fleet, you own the seas. That is what she needs. What do you want in return? Ever since I was a little boy, I wanted to grow up and marry the most beautiful woman in the world. So here I am, with a thousand ships and two good hands. And she's gonna marry. Oh wow! Not the hand shaded and Jamie. Kind of Whoa! I thought she was gonna accept. Why? You're not trustworthy. Oh! You've broken promises to allies before and murdered them at the nearest opportunity. Uh oh! You murdered your own brother. Uh oh. You should try it. Feels wonderful. Whoa. I don't expect you to trust me outright. You need proof of my honest intentions. He is gift. just throwing stones at Jamie. I won't return to King's Landing until I have that for you. What are you going to get her? Uh oh. Well, somehow declining him made him more powerful i think because now he has a reason to go do something very bad oh oh the library it's so cool sam ew <laughs> Ew! That is disgusting. This is what you have to do to become a maester? Oh. That looked like poop. Oh my gosh. I'm stressed. to be a maester an official maester i asked you if in light of what i'd seen in the north if i could have access to the restricted area of the library oh i was sent here to learn how to defeat them they all doubt the walkers ever existed in the first place everyone in the citadel doubts everything it's their job That's an interesting job but the tales of the long night can't be pure fabrication too many similarities from unconnected sources. Sources in the restricted area. The very same. We need in there. Come on. With the White Walkers is that you're telling the truth. And that you saw what you say you saw. Yes. Wise. You believe me? I do. Oh. In the Citadel, we lead different lives for different reasons. <laughs> we are this world's memory, Samuel <gasps> Tarly. And that's why the library. And thousands of years before that, during the long night, we can forgive them for thinking it truly was the end, but it wasn't. None of it was. The wall has stood through it all, and every winter that ever came has ended. Hmm. Every winter that ever came has ended. But what if this one doesn't? <gasps> Sam. Sam. I don't know that this is the way to do it. Yes, Pod's got to learn. She's a very impressive woman. What do you want, Lord Baelish? You. I want you to be safe. I am safe. 
I'm at home, surrounded by friends. I have Brienne to protect me from anyone who would harm me. This is probably the safest she has ever been, to be fair. Why aren't you happy? I don't know that she'll ever be happy again. My lady. My lady. Wow, oh, he's not going to have it so easy getting into her. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Into her life, that is. Why is he still here? We need his men. Without the veil, Ramsay Bolton would still hold this castle. True. True. That is all very true. We owe he him... He wants something. I know exactly what he wants. And so does Brienne. Gold are always cold, but a woman's hands are... Oh, hello! Are you hungry? We've got some rabbit. I don't want to steal your food. Who is that? Do I know his face from this show, or do I just know this actor's face? My wife's just had our first baby. Where I go? Oh, who knows? You think soldiers get ravens with news from home? <laughs> <laughs> that is so sad. I hope it's a girl. Why? Aww. Girls take care of their papas when their papas grow old. Oh. Boys just go off to fight in someone else's wars. Oh, fair. Okay. Wow. So why is a nice girl on our own heading to King's Landing? I'm going to kill the Queen. Oh! Honesty is a choice. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, sweet little giggle. Ah, they don't see the shadow in her that we see. They don't see the darkness in her, but it is there. It is there. It's snowing, horse. It's windy. You're a grouchy old bear, aren't you? Click <laughs> this seems like a good place to spend the night. These people don't want us here. It is very wintry. I don't like the look of it. For a big hard man, you scare easy. I'll tell you what doesn't scare me. Bald cocksuckers like you. <laughs> Why so serious, Clegane? Wait, is this the place that Aria got her needle back? Or the family with the little, oh, the dad and the little girl. That is so sad. Girl died in her father's arms. Both of them covered in blood and a knife at their feet. I'd say they were starving. <laughs> and rather than let his little girl suffer. Oh. Doesn't matter now. No. Doesn't matter now. That's so fucking sad. Because we robbed them. You're not bad. I don't hate you. Don't like you, but you're not It's bad. interesting to see this, like, um, soft side of There's him right now. There's nothing special about you. You're right about that. So why does the Lord of Light keep so... bringing you back? Oh, good question. So affected by the consequences of his actions. I don't know what he wants from me. I only know that he wants me alive. Hmm. Oh, all powerful. Why doesn't he just tell you what the fuck he wants? <laughs> okay, Clegane. Don't worry. The fire won't bite. Mm. I want to show you something. I'm scared. Looking like I end up with a band of fire worshippers. <laughs> oh, that is, yeah. Seems like oh. divine justice. There's no divine, divine justice. You dumb justice. cunt. If there was, you'd be dead. And that girl would be alive. Look into the flames. I don't want to look in the damn flames. He you saw me bring him back from the dead after you cut him down. Don't you want to know what gave me the power? I do. Yes, look into the flames. We can't tell you. Only the fire can tell you. Yeah, divine justice or something. <laughs> Logs burning. Keep looking. I want to see. Fire. What do you see? 
Ice. Ice. A wall of ice. Huh? The wall? It's where the wall meets the sea. There's a castle there. Whoa. Guess we gotta go. There's a mountain. Looks like an arrowhead. The dead are marching past. Uh oh. Do you believe me now, Clegane? Do you believe we're here for a reason? So they're marching past the wall? Just going... Around the mountain? What the hell are you doing, Clegane? <sighs> Burying the dead. You gotta burn them. Oh. Oh, he's so delicate about it. That guilty conscience. You knew these people. Not really. Well. What a beautiful way to give us a deeper understanding of the hound's heart. And where he's at emotionally right now. To circle back on a moment, a connection that could have just gone away. Could have just fizzled. We could have never seen him again. We could have never full circled this moment. We did. And now his friend, co-worker, colleague, is helping him bury the bodies. That's cute. We asked the father to judge us with mercy. We asked the mother to... Fuck it, I don't remember the rest. No. I'm sorry you're dead. Oh! You deserve better. Both of you. What a cruel, cruel, cruel world. You should really sleep, Sam. Well, he stole those books. Legends of the Long Night. <gasps> she can read! The Targaryens used Dragonglass to decorate the weapons. What? It's a map of Dragonstone. Ooh! That's Dragonglass. A mountain of it. <gasps> this is important. John needs to know. Yes, he does. Oh. He got the information he needed. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen to him when they find out he took those books, but. Ew. Infirmary? Oh, uh oh, yuck. <gasps> ah! Jail? Has she come yet? Who? The Dragon <gasps> Queen. Haven't heard anything. <gasps> oh no! <gasps> Jora! He's there! We know where he is! He went to go get help. Oh. He is very scaled up though. Ah! I love them! What a cool crew! And the dragons! Season 7 is stunning. Stunning! We made it. Wow. This is so surreal. Oh, the music. Holy shit. Burning his heart. Pull it down. Rip that shit down. at a girl. That is quite a throne. Shall we begin? <laughs> yes, we shall. 
I was like blown away. They hit me so captivated. I kind of forgot to speak there for a second, which is not always a bad thing, but <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just I was out of town for a few days and then coming back to record this episode and like it just felt like up leveled. Like the cinematography of it all felt like art. Felt like they just were pausing in all the right moments to let things sink in today in this first episode. And it made it so powerful. Like sometimes in the telling of a story, when you pause and let it sink in and you let the moment build up and you let the moment like you have the full like build up climax and then it instead of just like dipping all the way down it lingers around longer because <sighs> our story is not over yet right we have four seasons left still and oh man it's like it, it just always keeps getting better for me beautiful i thought the shots are really beautiful i thought the the pacing of this episode was really good and I just think I think we're in a really tense spot everywhere everything feels really really tense every storyline that we caught back up with today felt really tense like years and years of trauma and and pain and feelings and regret regret was big today for sure but there's just this passing of time and reminder of what we're fighting for and it's interesting right because even myself watching it it's like i lose sight sometimes that like our biggest enemy is the white walker and that's like that's that's if everyone could come together and we fight the white walkers then we could win we could survive winter but if I've, because everyone is divided and if you, when you look at the Lannisters and you look at Cersei herself, it's like she's so incredibly divided. She's so incredibly alone. I don't even know if Jamie's on her side right now. And she's so cold and so piercing with her words and her feelings. And she's changed. She's just changed. There's this like there's this change to her that they're giving to us visually and that like her hair is staying short. Um, and surely it could have grown back a little more than that by now. I feel like with the passing of time or maybe I'm too, being too generous with the passing of time since she had to shave it all off. But regardless of the hair, the outfits have been very different. They're much more, they're much darker. They're much more rigid they're much harsher even in the texture of them they're really harsh and that i think is is really beautiful I, something this show does the, the best it, is symbolism and it's so baked into the world building of it but then i think in the show sense of it the the choices they've made artistically bake in even more symbolism and it's not super in your face or super cheesy, right? It's just kind of like, it makes sense. It makes sense. And you see these characters change over time. And then sometimes with that, it's like they're outside of them. Changes along with the inside of them. Speaking of change, Clegane, the hound, felt this remorse, right? I wasn't expecting that because... I think Arya had asked something when when they robbed from that family and he was like I think he may have even said doesn't doesn't matter we'll never see them again or something also I might be making that up but to circle back on that and I spoke about it in the moment right but like to have this moment that could have been a throwaway moment from seasons before to circle back on that and then to use that opportunity to show us this change, or maybe it's not necessarily a change, but just this new vulnerability or this more raw side of the hound, right? It, it, granted, also, and to be fair to him, 
he went from being in a dynamic where he had to kind of always be the protector. He had to always be the adult. He had to always be the one to carry the majority of the burden of existing, of, you know, getting the food, doing the hunting, getting them where they're going. Like he had to keep them alive. Um, and I'm sure that Arya was helping out, you know, but like she, she was pretty young when their whole journey started. And now he's with a group of people who all can do the things. So like he doesn't have to be the one lighting the fire. He doesn't have to be the one making all of the decisions. And I think that's allowing us to see this softer side of him, which is nice. It is nice. I like him with the Brotherhood, even though it's kind of that group is kind of iffy, right? But <laughs> Oh, it is beautiful. Arya going to kill Cersei, though, is going to be... I'm really scared for that because Sansa is right that everyone that Cersei has ever wanted to kill ends up dying, at least for the most part. Um, so I think Sansa and Arya probably aside. They're, they're the getaways. Maybe the Hound as well. She probably wants to kill the Hound. She definitely does, I would say. But I'm still hoping for a Hound v. Mountain, but the Mountain scares me. He really does. So it's good to be back in. It's good to be back in this seat. You don't know that I left, <laughs> but I know I feel it. I feel that I was away from recording for a few days. It's good to be back in the show. It's good to be the season seven opening was phenomenal. I think it's setting us up for a really, really stunning season. And I'm excited. So I'll see you in the next episode if you want full link directions or in Patreon. Otherwise, don't forget to hit like and subscribe while you're here. Put a smile on. Thanks for enjoying the content. And I'll see you in the next one.